Yo, what up, people? It's your boy, The Laugh King, coming at you with our quick NBA Live 20 update. Basically, it's getting pushed back to quarter three. If you don't know what quarter three is, it's the release date between October 1st and December 31st. Now, the NBA season doesn't start till the end of October, maybe the last week of October. So, maybe that's what they're, they're aiming for. But, you know, this is not really good news because the whole time the game didn't show up at EA Play. A lot of people are saying, oh, you know, it's going to get canceled, blah, blah, blah. But NHL doesn't show up at EA Play either, right? So NHL, they already have their game. They announce it at the NHL Awards. So that's why they don't show anything at EA Play. So when NBA Live was like, we're not going to be at EA Play, you know, you kind of had to question, you know, the status of the game because usually they'll have something, they'll have some fans playing the game, people will go down there just to try the game, just to just just so that they can build a fan base and just so they can get some uh, hands-on time and people who had hands-on with the game can talk about it online and stuff like that. You know, build hype for the game. But now we just got NBA Live is delayed until quarter three right uh in the article that polygon posted they said they tried to talk to someone at ea and ea sports pretty much said they're planning a different approach whatever that means i don't know what that means uh they said they will have more to share in the quarter ahead so madden comes out I'm, we probably won't hear anything about it until after the launch of fifa which is crazy because FIFA comes out, uh, I think it's mid-September, September 19th or something is the release date. Could be the end of September. I can't remember off the top, but that's bad because, you know, although the NBA season starts in October, 2K is releasing their game in September, which is a couple weeks from now, a few weeks from now, a month from now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, everything, these other games that EA Sports is releasing pretty much, you know, has what NBA Live has to offer, right? I'm playing the NHL beta. NHL beta has, um, you know, they have a street mode in there. You play on the pond. They got live events coming. They got updates to HUT. FIFA's got Volta. Madden is pretty good right now. You know, a lot of people aren't really complaining about the whole game like they used to, even though that some of the modes could could have used some, uh, you know, some more some more features and stuff like that. You know, NBA Live has a lot of competition, man, and for them to drown out the game like that, I don't know if it's a good thing because, you know, you're going up against Need for Speed, Plants vs Zombies, and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Soldier, but in quarter three, people are waiting for that Star Wars game. Right? And people are going to be waiting for, their, for uh, you know, people are already going to be playing 2K. Like, I'm going to get my basketball fix with 2K now when the season starts, before the season starts. Because I want to play basketball on my Xbox. So, I don't know if this is a good thing. Um, you know, when they released the... Uh, the, up, the updated rosters for the game you're just wondering you're just like man is the game ready is the game ready we've heard nothing from NBA Live all we've heard was from some of the devs that it's alive and well uh, Cornell on Twitter said that they're going to pretty much um, talk about the game on their own terms uh, he posted an emoji saying that the game was pretty good but again, like he used to work for the company and, you know, he's going to hype it up. So hopefully it's it's nothing serious because we need NBA Live out, man. We need NBA Live to try to gain something to push 2K to be better, right? Basketball games need competition, right? We see what happens with, uh, with Madden. A lot of people complain about Madden. They want 2K to get the license and stuff like that. This is the only genre of sports that has two games 
one game goes away, if NBA Live is done, we just have 2K now. And I don't know about you, like, I'm not trying to see that. Right? I always get both games. I always play both games. Uh, I didn't like 2K a lot last year, but I ended up buying it again for $3. And I was trying to mess with it just to see if, you know, I can enjoy it. I somewhat tweaked it up a little bit and, and tried to enjoy it a little bit. But if 2K fixes those problems that they had last year and the game is a lot better, would people even go buy NBA Live? What if NBA Live is free to play? You know, Battle Royale is the, the, the you know, is the, the trend now. You know, I want Titanfall 3. These guys made Apex Legends. I would be playing Titanfall 3 right now if it wasn't for Apex Legends. So... It is what it is. The game has been delayed until quarter three. So the release date will be between October and December of this year. So that's all I got. All right. What do you guys think about the news? You already know it's bad news. <laughs> so leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I got a few more Madden videos dropping. All right. I've been having some fun with it. So, all right. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Blessings. Snips is in my section. Yeah, with all this money, I'm obsessing. Weapons. Turning off y'all extras. Turning off this bullshit direction. Turning up my grind. Waking up to more pressure. But it's all in your mind. So I never feel pressure. Knew it's all in due time.